Well, let's just start off by saying, I don't know anything about air fryers, but let's get on with the review. Question one comes from Anonymous. What is an air fryer? You can find that answer online somewhere. And that's all for the questions. This is the Russell Taylor AF76. It has 1,800 watts of heating power. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a lot. It has a 7.5 litre capacity and a self-rotating tray. But actually the tray is not rotating. There's just this little knobby bit here that rotates and stirs your food. But personally, it doesn't really work well for me. So on the box, it says that you can fry, you can grill, you can roast, you can bake and it leaves less oil, less grease, less odor from frying. All preset takes less than 30 minutes to cook. Sounds good? So the question that everyone wants to know is, what can fit inside? It fits hash browns. You can probably fit about five pieces flat on the tray. It fits a whole chicken. The smaller version could probably fit two quarter chickens or half a chicken. If you cut your potatoes, they can probably fit about four or five whole potatoes. You could probably fit a whole pack of drummets. And since the capacity is 7.5 litres, you could probably fit 7.5 litres of water. That's 7.5 litres of fried water. Don't fry water. For this particular air fryer, the door opens upwards, unlike other air fryers where you have to pull it out from the side. The handle needs to be pulled up in order to lift up the tray. And to put it back down, you just have to pull on this lock mechanism and you can put back the handle down. There's two buttons beside the handle to open up the air fryer's hatch. And there are two suction cups at the bottom of the air fryer to keep it in place. So, what are the pros and the cons of this air fryer? Number one, it's big. And big is always better. Number two, there's a transparent glass or plastic in the front that you can look at what you're cooking inside. Number three, you could, well, you could leave your things cooking inside and take a shower and by the time you're done, the cooking is done. Did I mention it can fry, grill, bake and roast? That could save me on a lot of appliances. Number four, it's easy to clean. There's less oil, less grease, less everything. Now for the cons. Number one, it is big. If you have a small kitchen, it will take up a lot of space. Number two, I tried cooking wedges in there and I don't know why when I ate the wedges, there's this Weird electric air taste in it. Could be just me or maybe because it's new, I gotta use it a couple of times and maybe it'll be gone. I did try roasting chicken. Chicken's not bad, came out quite okay. I don't really have any more cons. I only use it twice, I don't know. But I hope you liked the review. Thanks for watching.